Hi everyone, I created this Tableau dashboard to celebrate the new Pearl Jam Studio album coming out in mid-April called Gigaton. Just wanted to play around and now I want to show you how to create it because there's a lot of cool parts that go into this and I think it demonstrates a whole bunch of different things that are interesting uh, when creating something in Tableau. So just quickly, let's take a look at what I've got here. I've got these 14 different albums. What I did was calculated the main five colors in each of the album covers. I'm gonna show you how I did that. I created these what are essentially donut charts or radial bar charts sort of layered on top of each other, put them all together into a single dashboard. And then when you click, say you click on Gigaton, it actually opens up the Spotify playlist so you can actually go listen to the album. So there's a lot going on here, a whole lot of different parts. I wanna show you how I did it. And of course, if you are more of a Tableau expert, you can show me how you would do it differently. So let's go over to see if there's a lot of windows. We're gonna to get to all these. Starting with the data. There are 14 different albums, studio albums from Pearl Jam over the last 30 so odd years, uh, all the way down to 14 here. Um, so I've got the album number in column A. The series number is just gonna be a counter just to get this set up. And then the value, I just use the same number. I use 100, just thinking like 100% for a donut chart. So that's how the data are set up. So let's head over into Tableau. I've brought this data in. I've already converted the album number uh, to a dimension because it's gonna come in as, um, as a measure because it's a number. Um, so I've already converted those two dimensions. And so we just need to do a couple of few things, a few things here to set up this first chart. And what I'm going to do is set up the first chart the way I like it. I want it all formatted with the right colors. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and then edit each of those other worksheets to get the 14 different albums and then bring them together into a dashboard. So what I'm gonna do here is just grab my series number and drag that into color. You can see I've got all of my, uh, all of my series here. This is kind of fun to play with, but not what we want. So I'm gonna grab the album number and drop that into filters because again, I need to create a separate visualization for each filter. So I'm gonna click that and now I've got five different segments. I'm also going to grab my value and I'm going to drop that into angle and I'm going to take my series number and again, drop that into detail. Now what I need to do is I have this, but what I want to get this, how I want to get this set up is I want to create instead of one pie chart of five slices, I want five pie charts of one slice. So to do that, I'm going to go up to my column shelf and type in index, open, close, open parens, close parens, hit return. And I'm going to change the computation here to not go across the table, but to go by series number, which is gonna give me five different pie charts of one segment each. Then I wanna size them. So the index just goes one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna hold down the command key. I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, hold down the control key. And I'm gonna drag that into size. And that's gonna be five pie charts of different sizes. Now I wanna collapse them together. So this is a little trick that I saw online. I'm gonna divide here by a big number. I'm gonna use 100,000, hit return, and I'm gonna change the horizontal axis to a different range, negative two to two. And this is gonna force them to sit on top of each other right there. It's kind of a neat little trick. Okay, so what else do I need to do? Well, I wanna change this middle segment here to white, but not the blue segment. I want the segment on top. So I could have, I could have done six segments and done it that way, but there's another way to do it where if I just type in zero up here, I get another pie chart. And if I go into this tab, I'll just delete all this stuff. So I have a white pie chart here and I'm gonna just put these on top of each other. So I'll make it a dual axis. I'll synchronize the axes and then I'll change the size of the white pie chart, the smaller pie chart, and I'll just bring it down here. And then I can adjust it, adjust it to make, um, make it all set up. So as you can see, I've got my segments all set up here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, of course, the challenge is, now I've got this. Now the challenge is, how do I get the colors for each of the albums? Let's jump all the way over to another tab. I'm gonna go over here. Well, first off, let me go back. I'm gonna grab all the Pearl Jam albums from the album covers from the Pearl Jam website. You can see here are all these great albums. I'm gonna pull these together. And then I'm gonna use one of what I'm sure are millions of different uh, websites to pull out those five main colors. I found this one, Image Online, and I'm gonna go over here, Main Colors of the Picture. And all I need to do is drop in my picture 
and it's gonna give me the color palette, both in hex codes and in RGB codes. So it's gonna give me those colors. So let's go back over to my Excel file, all the way over here, and here are the colors. And so you can see I have them sorted here. Here's the album number, hex codes versus RGB. I went back and found the date. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need that, but I found the date. I have the hex codes in here, and I have the Spotify link that I went and manually got over here. Now, I just wanted to see the colors, so I created a little, um, a little executable, a little program that automatically colors the cells in my Excel file. So if I highlight this, I've got Excel down here. I've got some hex codes down here. If I click this little shortcut that I've set up, it actually gives me those color codes. So that's just a little trick for me, just so I could see it. But what I want to do, so I could do this manually. I could manually color each ring in each of my circles, but it's 14 different albums, and that seems like it's going to take a long time. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is modify my preferences uh, TPS file in my Tableau repository, create these 14 new color palettes, bring them into Tableau, and just do a quick set of clicks. So what I mean by that is over here are my colors. So let me just zoom in here so you can see it. So all I've done is reshaped my data from before. So here's the album, it's the hex color, the date, and here are the five colors. And then, and I'll make this column a lot wider so you can see it, I have just used formulas to pull this together to make it so I could just copy and paste. So you can see my formula up here. I just know how this is gonna be set up in the, uh, in, in the preferences TPS file. So I want this to look like color palette name equals whatever name of the album and then type equals regular so that I can use it in Tableau. So this formula is referencing cell A1. And then below, I do the same sort of thing with this concatenation where I'm referencing cell A4, which has the first color. And if I keep going down in row 15, it's referencing cell eight. And so down here, I have color palette just typed out. And when I copy and paste this all the way across, I get all of these separate things set up. And then I just do a bunch of copying and pasting to just reshape this data because I want it to be tall, not wide like this. So I've copied and pasted this down here so you can see that this color palette is going to be the color palette for the album 10. And what I'm gonna do is just copy all of this, all of my color codes. Let's go over to my TPS file. I'm gonna type them into here, paste them into here. So you can see I've got all my colors for all these albums already directly in my TPS preferences file for Tableau, which I thought was pretty fun. So I took the colors from the image uh, site copied them into Excel, used some formulas to make it easy, copied and pasted them into the preferences file, and then we'll go over to Tableau, where when I click on my color shelf and go to edit colors, I can go down here and find my colors for my different albums. And if this is not, but let's say this was the Lightning Bolt album, I can click that, hit assign palette, and you can see that it changes it right away. So now I've got my colors set up, I changed that white circle in the middle to this gray. I'm just using this dark gray color, just by formatting my entire worksheet. I have changed the uh, title to be the sheet name. So all the sheets, as you can see at the bottom, are named by the album. I've made that the impact font, which is, I think, one of the, uh, at least close enough to one of the fonts that uh, Pearl Jam used in one of the albums. Made it a 15, font, a 15 point font and a white color. And so it's all set up. And once I have all those created, as you can see, one at a time, pretty easy once you do the first one, because all you have to do for all the separate ones is to just change the album number, right? So just change the filter. And then, because I need these to be separate, because I left it all the same album, the colors change throughout the entire workbook, separate albums, I can just change the colors by a couple of clicks. So let's go over to the dashboard. So here's the dashboard. And this is actually pretty fun for me, I have to say. I really enjoyed making this dashboard. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, if I go into the layout, you can see over here what I have is a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I have for each horizontal container, I've built horizontal containers here. And for each one, I have created, well, I'll show you the circle PNG in a second. But in each of these horizontal containers, if I can find it, there we go. Horizontal containers, uh, we'll go at the top backspacer. I've put in each of these worksheets. 
Uh, and so I have Backspacer, Lightning Bolt, and Gigaton in this horizontal container, which also allows me to distribute those contents evenly. So they're all the way across. So getting the albums into each of these rows and columns is actually pretty easy. So I just have separate horizontal containers for each of these. So that wasn't really a problem. What I was trying to figure out was how can I make it so that someone could click on top of the album to get over to the Spotify list. And so what I did, and now I think this is pretty clever. As someone who's not really a Tableau expert, I thought this was pretty clever. We're gonna go down here to the bottom. We'll, we'll look at the, yeah, we'll look at the bottom one. So down here for 10 is a horizontal container that's floating. And I've set the horizontal container to be the width of the dashboard, so that's 1,000 pixels, and to be the height of that row, which I've set as 230 pixels. I've also placed it exactly where I want it to be. I want it to be at the zero position for X, and I want it to be at 790. What do I, where did that come from? Well, at the bottom here, it's the height of this top container, which I've already set at 100, plus 230, which is the height of each of these containers. And you can see that that's 230. So each fixed container for these rows is 230 pixels. So 100 plus 230 plus 230 plus 230 puts this container that's going to have the links uh, right at this position. But how do I get that on top so that you click on something? Well, actually what I did was I created uh, a circular image in PowerPoint. So I went over to PowerPoint, I created a circle, I gave it no fill, no line, I right clicked on it and saved it as a picture. And then what I did in here is each one of these is an image. And I'll bring this up here. And you can see it's just an image. And when the user clicks, it clicks over to that, to that album. So you have, if you can think of this as a worksheet brought together into a dashboard, and then that's in a fixed horizontal container. And on top of that is a floating horizontal container with a transparent image so that when you click on it, it brings you over to the dashboard or to the album so that no one can actually click into these, uh, into these albums to play with the circles because they're, they're meaningless. The last thing I did was add a little bit of an image down here. I want to have just to give a little shout out to Pearl Jam and to the image tool that I used. So I have a whole separate uh, uh, worksheet here where I just created a CD uh, icon. Again, I went back into PowerPoint grabbed a CD image, I used the noun project, colored it the way I wanted it, right clicked, saved it as an image, dropped it into my shape folder in my Tableau preferences, grabbed it out of here, here's the CD, made it as a, an image, and then could add a tooltip to it, which you can see here, formatted this tooltip. And when I dropped it in this uh, horizontal container at the bottom, you can see that it's sitting right there. And so that, my friends, is how I created this visualization that you can now go and see and play with online. But as you can see, what I did was to grab the uh, album covers from Pearl Jam, from their website, fed those into an image tool, extracted the five most common colors, put those into Excel to create an easy copy and pasteable list of color codes into my preferences file and created my visualizations in Tableau, layer that all together, and now I got a fun little visualization. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you can use maybe some of this. Maybe you learned something about using your color tool or Excel to create some text that you can use or to create those pie charts. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, I hope you still enjoyed listening to my voice, and I hope you will check out the new Pearl Jam album. Comes out in mid, uh, mid April. Gigaton's the name of the album. Dark Matter's the name of the first release. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you're well. Thanks for listening.